Hello everyone, Inventor719 here. In today's video, we are going to be making egg grenades. And just before you get all angry, these eggs, as you can see, are called YouTube eggs. I bought this package of eggs for $1, and I tested them by floating them in water. And these are all the ones that failed the float test. So they are rotten eggs. So we are going to make them into grenades. So here's what we're going to be doing. As you can see, I have these specific firecrackers down here. These two are relatively powerful. They're called Viper 1s. I'm going to be using those. I have this larger firecracker. That's actually just a small firecracker inside of a cardboard tube, so don't be fooled. I'm just using it because it's easy to stand up. And these are Explosive 1 firecrackers. They look just like your standard issue black hat type single use firecrackers but I would say they're actually a little more powerful so what we're going to be doing is three different things the first type we're going to be making is taped to the side of the egg because that is the easiest to make I'm also going to be po poking some holes in the top of these eggs and putting her straight in the top and then with one of the eggs I'm going to use this big stand up firecracker and place it beside the egg about an inch away and I'm going to see if the shock wave from the firecracker is enough to crack the egg. So I'll do that experiment last. First I'll show you quickly making my grenades and then we'll go outside and test them. Here we go. Alright so we're going to start by poking holes in one, two, three, four of them. Tape firecrackers to two of them and one's going to be reserved for the experiment. So here we go. The easiest way to do this is to use a sharp knife and just poke in the top. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see. Just big enough so you can shove a firecracker in. And there you go. So there's the final arsenal of firecrackers. Before the firecrackers get all soggy, let's go outside and test them out. I decided to split up, split up the vipers, one inside an egg and one outside an egg. This will probably be the most powerful one, so I'll save that for, for almost last. So without further ado, let's get to some testing. All right, here we are outside in the snow. Not much to see, but we're gonna be testing each grenade one by one once I set up the tripod. All right, so we're first gonna Start with just the regular old egg and grenade, or sorry, firecracker inside the egg. This is just the regular red firecracker. Hopefully you guys can see it over here. All right, good stuff, nothing on my camera. Quick damage report. As you can see, there's quite a bit of egg shrapnel. No pun to be made there, but I'll work on it. All right, next up, I don't see why we can't do this one. Firecracker taped to the side of an egg. Over here we go. Ooh. Man, sorry guys, it's straight ice over here. All right, let's see if it cracks the egg. This will be a little louder. Alright, very different results. Still cool. It just exploded and shattered the egg as you see here. Alright, next up, I'll save the repeats to last. Next up, let's do probably the most powerful one. This is the Viper grenade, sorry, the Viper firecracker inside the egg. These ones take a while to light.
Yep, that one was quite a bit more powerful. It's hard to show you what damage was from that one. But the piece on the bottom stays as it gets shot down straight into the ground. I'm gonna have to do some cleanup. There's egg everywhere. All right. For this next egg, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna light it and toss it into that snowbank right there. Actually, I'll toss it over here so you can see a little better. There's like some deep fluffy snow right there. I'm gonna light it with my hand and just drop it into the snow so we might get a little snow explosion with egg coming out of it. Let's see if that works out. Just making sure you can see it right about there should do. Okay, here we go. If you never use these before, they don't have a fuse. You just kind of light the end of it. These are from Europe. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm not sure how well you could see that, but there's the hole it made afterwards. Spat a little bit of egg out. That's kind of nice since it didn't make such a big old mess. And now for the last test before doing the repeats, I have a 100% clean egg and this firecracker. I'm gonna do this one a little more close up so you can see. Put it about there. Hopefully nothing gets on my camera, but if so, I'll clean it up. So we are about an inch away, and go comment below what you think will happen. I'm gonna blow this up, and we're gonna see if that breaks or cracks or anything. I'll go a little closer for best results. So it's about three quarters of an inch to an inch away, because the firecracker's in the middle. All right, here we go. All right, so I don't think anything happened. Yeah, literally just put some smoke on the edge of it. And I think that is due to the fact that it's just a, a weak little firecracker made to look big. I might do that again in the future with a bigger firecracker. Anyway, for now, let's finish off the video with these two airsoft grenades. And everyone always says throw them like a grenade, so why don't we do that right now? I'm gonna light it and then see if I can throw it into the snow over there. But I'm doing it on camera, so it's not going to be a big old Hercules throw, so don't make fun of me. That was actually surprisingly cool. I'll do one more, then I'll show you guys the crater. Stick around. I can see it from here. It looks really cool. Here's one more. Uh, I think that was a different way for me to show you, but not really. I'll try and throw this one a little farther. I didn't throw it too far just so you could still see it. And that's that. We're out of all my eggs. There is this one left, of course. Not quite sure what to do with this one. Maybe let's just throw it at that tree over there. That's a little gross, I'll, go, I'll have to go clean that up now. Anyway, here's the crater that the last two grenades made. Thrown grenade style number one number two hope you guys enjoyed this video it was supposed to be a little quick video it turned out to be kind of long but i really hope you enjoyed it if you want to see more firecracker videos let me know i have a lot more how-to videos coming out as always please like comment and subscribe